creeping through the shadows of Ontario nights Where we keep the masquerade tight Vampires in the city hiding in plain sight We got the Anox by our side turning the tide Whispers in the darkness, secrets that we keep We stay vigilant, never sleep We're in too deep, luxury and power We seduce, we captivate, but we tread carefully Gotta keep the masquerade in this world of deception We the predators and prey, we defy your pressure With the Anox we sway, dark desires fuel us But we stand for justice too This is our mission and we must pursue Dark alleys, fast cars We live a secret life Is our power, it's our currency, our trade We walk the line between darkness and the light that fades Guns and clamor, women drawn to our mystique But we vigilant, our existence we must keep In the heart of Ontario, our stories unfold With the creatures of the night, with secrets untold Fighting the Camarilla, those tyrants we reject This a new drama, a world we resurrect We spin this dark, bloody, seductive tale In bloody waters, where we set sail Ontario nights, where we fight for what is right Underneath the moonlit sky, we take it to new heights. Dark alleys, fast cars, we live a secret life. Under the moon, in the shadows, we don't need no light. Camarilla, trying to take us down. But we know our way, and we all around. Through the shadows of Ontario nights Where we keep the masquerade tight Vampires in the city hiding in plain sight We got the Anox by our side turning the tide Whispers in the darkness, secrets that we keep We stay vigilant, never sleep We're in too deep, luxury and power We seduce, we captivate But we tread carefully, gotta keep the masquerade In this world of deception We the predators and prey, we defy your pressure With the Anox we sway, dark desires fuel us But we stand for justice too mission and we must pursue dark alleys fast cars we live a secret life under the moon in the shadows we don't need no light camarilla trying to take us down but we know our way and we all around blood is our power it's our currency our trade we walk the line between darkness and the light that fades Guns and clamor, women drawn to our mystique But we vigilant, our existence we must keep In the heart of Ontario, our stories unfold With the creatures of the night, with secrets untold Fighting the Camarilla, those tyrants we reject This a new drama, a world we resurrect We spin this dark, bloody, seductive tale In bloody waters, where we set sail Ontario nights, where we fight for what is right Underneath the moonlit sky, we take it to new heights Dark alleys As we start tonight's session, it is best that we go ahead and start with our disclaimer so I don't forget it. 
Vampire the Masquerade is a mature game for mature audiences where we have discussed the lines and veils with all the players at the table. So any subject, any subject matter that may be intense or maybe risque has been talked about with all players and everyone has a level of comfortability. Um, so any subject that needs to be avoided, there may be times where we just fade to black and there is a understanding here at the table that that is okay. So with that being said, let's tell a vampire story. When we last left our coterie, a mysterious benefactor contacted Mr. Jed Abner, sending a vehicle which they all piled in and delivered you to a nice penthouse suite in downtown Toronto. After going inside this suite, you find all the amenities up to standard. Uh, nice blood stash in the fridge, as well as wait staff on call willing to get you anything you need. What is the coterie doing at this point? I'm assuming we're with Jet, right? Yes. You are the coterie. <clears throat> I want to say something, or are we just going to sit here and offer silence? Jet snaps his fingers. Waiter. A man with a curly Q mustache walks in. Oh, yes, sir. Bring me blood immediately. Oh, wow. Well. So, so, what type, sir? You look straight into this waiter's eyes. You know exactly what fucking type. Just bring it. Uh, yes, sir. And he, he bows out and goes back out the door. I'll make it a double. And the door closes behind him. Uh... Should've got fucked real quick. Where the hell is that waiter? They literally just left 20 seconds ago. 20 seconds too slow. I mean, maybe? Don't kill him. Okay. Then, oh, uh, that, uh, that's a bit extreme. Maybe don't. Let's get you some food. You ain't you when you're hungry, that kind of thing. Or maybe it's the other way around. Aren't you starving? Oh, yeah. It's just take an extreme amount of self-control to not lunge at the nearest thing and tear their throat out. Drink what's inside. Fortunately, I've been doing this for a decade, so I've had a few experiences. Doesn't make it easier. It's just easier to hide. Shit, where is that waiter? After uh, about 10 minutes, the waiter. Walks Ten minutes. In, <laughs> walks in uh, with a man uh, handcuffed and bound in a BSDM style mask. 
uh, with a zipper across his mouth. What the ah, fuck? Your, your beverage, sir. Yeah, I'll, I'll wait. <laughs> you go ahead, Jet. I asked for. You said, you said, uh, you said, uh, this is what you like, no? Jet will grab the waiter by the collar. Drag him in closer. I said, bring me the blood you know I need. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Let go of the collar. <laughs> he, he, he scrambles out of the room, leaving the man with the mask on behind. The man in the mask sits there and struggles for a little bit. Uh, can I breathe? All right, can you breathe? Jump once for yes, jump twice for no. And he he jumps. All right. You should eat. Mm. I don't know about that one. Uh, is this a human or a kindred? Can't tell. Can't tell. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. All right. <clears throat> Fuck it. I'm hungry. I'll uh, walk up behind uh, this man, bound and whatever he is. I'll. Uh, is there anywhere I could bite him? Like, yeah, is there any exposed he, he has exposed to flesh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll... Yeah. Bite into his neck. Yeah, you... You bite into him. What do I taste? You taste warm vitae that's warmer than honey. He is definitely kindred. This has been so fucking long. It tastes sweeter than cake pops. Sweeter oh, than fuck. the most southern sweet tea that you've ever had. It is diabetes pouring from this man's vein. <laughs> you did not want to tell me that. All right. How much? How much do I get back from that? Well, I'm going to need you to roll a rouse check. Oh yeah, sure. I I pass. I pass. Okay. I'm also gonna need you to roll a frenzy check. Takes a little bit longer for some reason, but I'll roll. To see if you can I stop fail. yourself. <laughs> the beast is enjoying this meal. I mean, fuck, I am too. It doesn't want to stop. I, I kind of do. It. I, I don't like touching this man. I'm going to need a roll of your willpower to see if you can stop yourself. Oh, yeah, sure. I don't know. Uh, how do I roll willpower? It's not but for that. Roll all your unspent willpower. <laughs> I don't think you roll willpower. You can just spend it. You can roll unspent willpower. Oh, you can? Yeah. I've never done that. Yep. Weird. Also, check your DMs when you get a second. Okay. Three. I need at least one success out of the three. No, that, that was my one willpower. Oh. I, I only I have one willpower left. Oh, I thought you had three. No, no, I rolled a three. You can't stop. 
Can they see me having difficulty stopping myself? They sure can. They don't seem to care. <laughs> Is there any way to stop him? Like, Do you wish to intervene? Yes, but not in his eyesight. So I don't see who's intervening? <laughs> so I don't have a... a, a receptacle for my anger yeah All right. <laughs> how do you wish to intervene um just gonna walk up behind him and like grab his arms and try and pull him back give me a strength oh fuck and let's call it dexterity roll okay That's difficulty the should we make it an opposed check? Oh, fuck. If it is, she's gonna have a hard time. Yeah. Let's call it difficulty three. Okay. Are we already I succeed. Us? You pull Enoch off. Yeah. The man crumples to his knees, gasping for air. <laughs> Sorry about that, fella. <clears throat> How much hunger do I sleep? Three. Wonderful. I feel good now, though. That's a short bow on my back. What the fuck? At this point, the waiter returns, holding a very fancy wine bottle. He places it on the table in front of you, Jet. It has a crystal wine stopper in the top of it. The wine stopper looks like the head of a snake. For your sake. I hope you got it right this time. There is a note attached to the bottle. I'll read the note. <clears throat> it is written in blood. I see. But it is written in calligraphy intentionally. Answer. To a more prosperous future, big brother. You'll rip the stopper off. And you'll begin to chug the bottle. I don't think you're supposed to chug my. Oh shit, that's going down. He's still going. Holy fuck. Uh, I must not be liquor. Never mind. Oh, yeah, Mr. Waiter, dude. Uh, you might want to. Yeah. <coughs> the, waiter has back, the waiter is backed out of the room. After finishing a bottle of the wine, you heal back three points. Of hunger. But you still... F it tasted horrible. It tasted rancid. Better? You still feel inflicted. That was the worst tasting blood I've had. I'm going to snatch it out of his hand. I'm going to taste it. Just a drop. I'm not chugging it if there's any left. I'm just tasting it, see what, see what it tastes like. Enoch, you drank from Jet. Didn't you? Against my will. Yes, he did uh, drip feed me. Resuscitate me. C 
Seems a bit of retconning is in order. Oh. Huh? Huh? Big pardon. Big pardon. You healed nothing from the man. I did? Oh. Oh, suddenly I feel hungrier again. I wonder why. Oh. And the wine that you take from Jet burns like acid. Let me a <laughs> oh, holy shit! What is this? <laughs> oh. oh, oh, that burnt bad. Oh. Oh, you can take that back. God damn, it's like radiator fluid or some shit. Jesus Christ. Oof. Motivation all over. Hmm. I need to check my DMs as I've been informed of ongoings. Well, there certainly was snake venom in her blood. What? Well, Jeb will, will launch the bottle across the room. Right. The bottle smashes against the wall in the vitae, which is normally red, but in this case it is a murky, venomous black <clears throat> drips down the wall. Ew. Ew. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's nasty. You like that? I just said I didn't. I mean... You also said bring the shit that you like. I said bring the shit that I need. You needed that? I needed it. <laughs> well, at least you're not hungry anymore. It's at this point. Downstairs in the parking lot. Coordinates that were sent to your phone by... Joe, Judas, you arrive. After spending a few nights with a certain someone, what the hell is this place that I'm looking at anyway? It's a very nice four star hotel. Hmm. Does the did Joe give me like a room number or anything? It's uh, the presidential suite on the very very top floor. Wow. I feel a bit underdressed, but draw his cloak around him tighter, and he will go inside and just try to. Try to look like he belongs, just walk straight to the elevator. Did you bring anyone with you? Uh, that's a good question. I definitely have Danny with me. Did you bring, do you know who with you? Uh, we'll say sure if she, she, she ain't got anywhere else to be. Yeah, she would come with you. You would know after spending a few days with her at this point after taking the only vehicle the coterie had to go be with this individual she's not kindred hmm also your camera did freeze my camera froze yeah it freeze on zoom yeah. Yeah. Zoom and stream. Better? 
Yeah. Cool. Can um, I tell what she is, or has she told me, or? You know she's Kuei Jin. Fair enough, I've never met one before. I don't know don't exactly know why Joe asked me to come here, but I guess let's be on our best behavior for now. I say to her. Alright. Should uh we go in hot? Let's not. Not yet. Alright. I'll just uh go to the elevator. Do you go inside Cloak to sh Cloak of Shadows? Can she Cloak of Shadows? She can. You know what? Sure, just in case. I'll go ahead and make that Rouse check. She will as well. Success. She also succeeds. Now do the whole shebang as usual, Cloak of Shadows, Unseen Passage, Ghost of the Machine. Okay. She closes Shadows and Unseen Passages. She follows closely behind you as you both get out and shut the car door and proceed inside. The automatic doors opening as you approach this hotel. Both swiftly enter into the elevators and press the button. Are you undetectable on cameras? What goes to the machine? Um, let me look at the specifics. We do goes to the machine. No additional role is required when being viewed on a live feed. Treat observers as present with the vampire. Wait, treat observers with regard to the discipline. Okay. Um, the observer adds plus three to their difficulty on tests to identify the user on film, video, and photographs or the like. Okay. That's uh, all I need to know. All right. There is a yeah. camera inside the elevator. I will let you know if it becomes important at any point in time. Okay. And just stand there waiting for the elevator to get to the top. The elevator plays a rather familiar tune as it goes up to the tippity top. What is this music? It sounds like the time when you were in Enoch's hotel. <laughs> Asper just kind of hangs his head for a second, but then <laughs> pulls himself back together. The doors open. And you see a nice oak wood door with a butler sitting on a nice suede chair in the hallway, looking like he is ready to assist. He has a curly Q mustache. He is balding on the top of his head. and He looks very stressed. And I'll step out and I assume he, he doesn't see me. He notices the elevator door open, but he does not get up to make any uh, action yeah. towards the elevator. Looking at something here. I don't think it's going to work. I was going to try to knock on the door to get him to open it. <laughs> it's like it's left inside, but I don't think that's going to work with Obfuscate. No, you will have to break off Obfuscation to knock on the door. Uh...
Do you wish to break off obfuscation inside the elevator before the doors open? Yeah, I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna whisper to Kraken, uh, stay unseen and follow me. And All right. I will drop obfuscation before I step out. Drop obfuscation. What does Judas look like at this point? Uh, same same as last time for the most part. Uh. He still got his cloak, his mask. Obviously, he can't take off. Um, underneath, he's he's got the noose around his neck, and he's actually tried to. Uh, he's actually wearing some clothes this time. Uh, just simple, like button down, button down shirt and slacks and shoes, slip ons. Easy, easy to take off if he needs to. Heck yeah. All right. The waiter turns when the elevator door opens and his eyes widen for a moment and then slowly start to narrow again. Um, do you, what do you do? I will approach him and say, I've been expected here. Says so Arthur, very well, sir, you may enter. Give him a nod and thanks and open the door, making sure to keep it open uh, large enough for cracking to slip in before I close it behind me. You feel a light gust of air breeze past you. Step in and look around. What does he see once he enters into the hotel room? Good question. Then you would want to answer. Um, the people. No. <laughs> uh, individuals of various degree. <laughs> definitely, definitely people. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll co-sign on that description. There are people there, for sure. I look at all three of them, and then I <laughs> Jesus a, looks at the looks at the BDSM guy. He's unconscious on the ground. The hell did I just walk into? I asked them. Wow, I was hungry. And I'm still hungry. Well, I don't kink shame, I guess. I just wasn't expecting it. Oh, fuck that. I said no. Then Jed pressured you. Don't you know that consent is very important in that lifestyle? What? <laughs> Never mind. Where exact? Where exactly are we? You know, it's like the fuck's consent. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question? Um, Belladonna, what are you doing at this point in time? No, I probably would have found him. Uh, just Surprise observing you. the area we're in. Surprise you two ain't making out yet. What? You know, okay. And yeah, I'm, I'm observing the area to see if anything catches my attention. Definitely Casper walking in would catch your attention. Yeah. Oh, where are you been? Was helping a friend. Sorry I had to dip out like that. Yeah, it was quite sudden. Well, it's not like nobody died. My wife. Yeah, I think we're okay right now. Joe sent me the coordinates to this place. What exactly are we doing here? Oh, shit. 
doing okay last I heard. Alright. Alright, uh, anyways, I'll leave that to Mr. Big Shot over here. Speaking I, of Joe. I, just, I look at Jet and I just elbow him. That's you. Speaking of Joe. She's not in here. With all of you. And that's a good point, wasn't Joe with y'all last last we uh talked? Yeah. Yeah. Uh Last I saw her, she was going back to get these two after I was finding the car. Casper's going to pull out his cell phone and send a quick message, text to Joe. Uh, you good? Question mark. Enter. Uh, you get no response. Hmm. Ain't not going to try to call Joe. It goes to voicemail. Did it go? Or, well, I guess I wouldn't know, but did it go immediately to voicemail, or did it ring and then go to voicemail? There's a difference. Yes. Yes. Going immediately to voicemail means her phone's turned off. Oh. To this point. Also, I don't know if you know your camera's turned off, Shia. Yes, I know. I had to do something. Oh. Um, it's at this oh. point uh, the air kind of feels uneasy you know, Joe was there when you guys got to the hotel but she doesn't seem to have entered the room with you guys sounds good it was off I'm gonna like lean into my shoulder a little and whisper Danny go see if you can find her and I will uh, use my, what's my power? What's it called? The power that lets me uh, pass my obfuscation onto my my famulus. So Danny is obfuscated as well. The power of friendship. After about 10 minutes, does anything happen in this time? Uh, Enoch yeah. would have gone back out to the car to see if maybe she was doing something. Jed would have gone up to one of the attendants again and asked if there were a room somewhere he could lodge in. I'd say Bella's probably going to be following Jed to see. Okay. Danny, you find nothing. Hmm. Enoch, you notice Joe across the street. I don't know where she is. Joe! What you doing out here? Gonna run up to her? Oh, yeah. You run up? Stop halfway, though. And when you get there, she looks confused. No? You alright? Alexa, turn all lights white. What? Who the fuck's Alexa? Why are you sound like that? <laughs> I 
not working. Oh, my lights aren't working. I have a blue wig on right now, guys, for dramatic effect. Oh, my. My light died. Sad days. Well, gotta get a new one. Second, I'm getting spammed by someone. Um, I think we know who. Yep. Hmm, yeah. She looks at you confused. Something wrong? Or what's an awareness? Difficult. Call it difficulty four. Mm, yeah. Oh shit, I succeeded. Yeah, I mean, yeah, totally. I definitely, I, I succeeded. No doubt whatsoever. <laughs> As you look closer, the woman is not actually Joe. Just some random woman with blue hair. Oh, uh, sorry for the confusion, ma'am. I thought she was someone else. Uh, sure, whatever. She walks away confused. Well, it just brings back up the question, where the hell is she? You notice, walking towards you, about seven pregnant women, too, on the, your side of the sidewalk as they walk by you. I'm, I'm walk back to the other side of the sidewalk, but it's on not in their way. That's the uh, side. Maybe they're having a baby shower? Multiple baby showers at the same time. Certainly, Amos. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get way out of the way. I'm a little concerned by that. So many mistakes at once. I mean, come on. Is there anything? uh unusual about this aside from the fact that there's seven pregnant women walking towards me it's just out of the ordinary it's not something you see every day um just something notable you should notice um but other than that not really belladonna and jet you two talking to the staff, they don't recall anyone with blue hair entering in with you. Now that you think about it, you don't remember Joe getting in the car with you. <laughs> I have no time to worry for that one. Aren't you worried about where she is? Wherever she is, she'll be fine. I can see it. I've seen it all. If you say so. You seem grumpier than usual, Jet. What exactly happened while I was gone? None of your business. <clears throat> now, again. 
I ask, are there any empty rooms where I could lodge? Oh, where, where you can lodge what, sir? Where I can lodge. Uh, yes, we have a few empty rooms. Uh, how, how long are you looking to stay? That's it to happen again. Let's just say a week. Perfect. Yeah, we, we can we can uh <clears throat> say come back in about an hour and we can have the room ready. Just give me the room now. Uh, it, it's not clean. I could care less. Uh, oh, oh, okay. That'll be... 3700 for the week. Take it from my card. Alright. They swipe the card. And it boops. Card's gone. You're funny. I uh, know. As you are handed a key for room 124. <clears throat> I'll be heading to my room. If anything important happens, you know where to find me. We'll start heading towards the elevators. Okay. Walk in the elevators and they close behind you. Does anyone follow him onto the elevators? No, but I will say to the others, the delightful ray of sunshine, that one. No wonder he's such a lady killer. Do we all get hurt? Elevator shuts behind you. I'm in the parking lot, sir. I'm not there. Also, I guess I just said that to Bella. <laughs> yeah. Well, Bella, maybe you can tell me why why we're here. Jet's going through a lot, and we found someone that can help. Potentially. Fair enough. I am con concerned about Joe, though. Yeah, Send me same. these coordinates and then just disappeared. Yeah, I could have sworn she got in the vehicle with us, but I guess she didn't. Um, the storyteller, do I have anyone else's numbers from the, uh, the guild? You do. You have the number of Bully. You have the number of the Quartermaster. You have the number... Of your squad leader, Flower. I'll send them all texts asking if they've seen Joe tonight. You don't get any response for a while. But after about 30 minutes, Flower responds and says, she swung by the haven for a little bit. She grabbed some stuff and then she headed out. 
No word on where she was going? Didn't ask. Fair. Thank you. Well, she's definitely out and about somewhere. No telling where, though. Hopefully she'll get back to us soon. I'm sure she can protect herself, but yeah, it is a little bit worrisome. Uh, do you need a room or anything? I can, I can pay if you don't got the, the money. It's a next week problem. One second. Meanwhile, in the parking lot. Those women don't walk past, right? Hmm? The pregnant ladies, they don't walk past, right? Yep. Nothing bad happened? Nope, nothing bad happened. Except seven mistakes that were made that night? You can presume several months ago. Well... Yeah. Uh, Your phone continues to ring. Take it out of my shirt pocket. It was the... Myra. Ah, shit. Let me pick it up. Hello. Hey. Where are you? At some weird ass hotel. That's not the airport. I know. Got a little sidetracked. Well, do you need a ride? Did, did, uh, you you said, um, came and took the car, right? But he's here now, so we have the car again, right? Mm Mm-hmm. No, no, uh, we're just, uh, something's wrong with Jet, trying to get him fixed up, and now fucking Joe's disappeared. Fucking Do you need me come help? Can you help? Uh probably. I mean more hands to marry, I suppose. Yeah. I'll be there soon. Thank you. Mm-hmm. My phone clicks. I just say thank you. What the hell's wrong with me tonight? Put it back in my pocket. Where are you, Joe? Uh, no point standing out in the cold. A homeless man is walking up to you with a mug out, gloves tattered. He's very dirty. He smells like very rancid. Soot covering his hands almost changing his skin color, darkened by a few tones. Spare change! Spare change! Mother, you good? You got any spare change? Help the homeless? Uh, maybe. Let's start searching my pockets. Do I have any spare change? Do you? I mean... He not always keeps a keeps a few quarters on his pocket in his pocket, but I mean that's for like if he runs into a vending machine. <laughs> uh, shit. You know what? Yeah, it ain't much, but something. I'll drop drop three quarters into his cup. Thank thank you, sir. What what's your name? Um, yeah, ain't not. No, not nice to meet you. Ain't not. I asked to meet you too, Mr. Uh, what's your name? Oh, Mr. Saul. Nice to meet you, Mr. Saul. Nice. Thank you. Thank you kindly. He starts hobbling down the road. He's, another group of people pass. He's like, spare change. Oh. <laughs> Shaking his can now, which rattles of quarters in their face. 
Well, he's been out this long. Maybe he'll probably be all right. Maybe. <sighs> All right, enough distractions. I'm going to log back in. Look for the others. Any luck? No. They found someone that looked like her, but wasn't her. Then I saw seven pregnant women and a homeless man. I found out she visited the guild tonight and got some supplies, but nothing other than that. No. Did they tell you what for? No, they didn't ask. This guild of hers starting to concern me. You feel an angry huff of air in your ear, Casper. I'm just going to look over my shoulder for a second and then back to the others. <clears throat> so we we all stay in here for the week while we get Jet fixed up or what? Be right back. I've got to fix this light in a second. Well, I sure as hell ain't staying in here. I got to go look for fucking trouble. I got somebody coming here to help me with that. Good. I say I'll probably stay here. I mean, you're free to come with. But I figured you would like to stay with your beloved. He shouldn't be left alone. Oh, yeah, for sure. He's going to kill somebody. Just because like we get not... a hotel room doesn't mean we have to stay here the entire time. Exactly. Well, he's already here, so. <laughs> Maybe I should upgrade the local sheriff. Oh, God, Enoch, why? Here's a damn joke. Calm down. Uh, Casper will go ahead and go get a room for a week as well, just in case. At least have somewhere to come back to if he needs to. Yeah, you 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 do that. Find your nice place to spend all your money at. I'm gonna find a nice garbage can. Garbage can is so good. Yeah. There goes a comfortable this year. I may be a Nosferatu, but I have standards. I think me sleeping in a sewer willingly is a testament to my lack of Yeah. I would say you can get it. You get up to the counter and they also charge you another $3,700 for the week. Do you take Sorbid. this deal? Sorbid as hell, but I'll pay it. I got the I got the resources. Do you walk up to the counter? Sure. They start freaking out. <laughs> Dude just rolls his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it all before. Come on, just the fuck are you some like fucking. What the fuck? Is there a fucking, like, convention or some shit in town? No, I I got a condition, okay? Look, just give me the fucking room. It looks so fucking... What the fuck? Well, Glad they're dealing see... with that. Glad to yeah. see hotel hospitality is still alive. <laughs> yeah, while they're doing that, Bella's gonna head to the elevators and head up to Jet's room. There's a knock on your on room 124's door. Who is it? Jet, it's me. 
What do you need, Bella? Can you let me in? So did you open the door? <laughs> Jed opens the door. What can I help you with? She's immediately just gonna like bolt past him and be like, Jet, you can't you can't just do that. <laughs> do what? You can't just keep ig ignoring the rest of us, not letting us in. You can't keep letting me out. That's not how that works. <laughs> oh, no, no, you heard her. Let her out. She wants to get out. There's no reason for any of you to be involved with my familiar problems. Familiar with your what? <laughs> familial problems. Well, you know. You should have thought about that before you said what you said to me. Before you... She's just kind of going to look away. <laughs> I meant those words, my love. And I work tirelessly to keep you and everyone else as safe as I possibly can. She's kind of gonna, um, she's kind of gonna like slightly just buck up to him just a little bit. And it's like, well, I can protect myself. Jet, I care about you as well. I don't want you getting hurt. <laughs> it's a bit late for that, don't you think? Damn it. <laughs> I don't want you being stupid. Bit late for that, don't you think? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I'm what? Oh. Mm. Love makes us all. A little stupid sometimes. Oh, you're fucking right on that one. And she's gonna go to kiss Jet. Jet will not resist. <laughs> you know, like, stop. <laughs> One who's gonna win this match of tonsil hockey. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Isn't that <laughs> precious? No, not again. Ain't, ain't that just a moment? I might time. just get the chance to kill you. <laughs> uh, right, they're gonna make lasagna. And as you <laughs> and, and as your lips embrace the cold pressure leaving both of it, both of your bodies, what happens next? I didn't get that far. <laughs> Lasagna. <sighs> you've no idea what you've done, do you? Jet will slam the door shut. And I'll use my coin. As we fade to black, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another Italian dish is added to the roster. They, they start doing the Pop Tart dance together. Yes, that Pop Tart dance. They start making lasagna. <laughs> um Cabanaro. They're into blood play. That's so funny. 
All right. <clears throat> Wasn't expecting that. As we go back downstairs, what do we find? Well, our Lasagna. sexy setite is busy. Lasagna. <laughs> Look, are you going to give me the fucking room or not? Jesus Christ, uh, would you stop making... Yeah, 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 just stop fucking looking at me. I'll keep looking I, at you until uh, I get the Fuck, room. fuck, I, fuck, man! Just take, fucking take the guard, Veer! <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm walking up behind Cayman. Something problem here. No, just some discrimination. Oh, there, there is a convention it. in town. Look, he looks like some sort of shitty Clint Eastwood. <laughs> you know, if I wasn't in a if I wasn't in a pretty good mood, I think I'd break your jaw for that. <laughs> no, you can you can drop the act, buddy. This is a place of business. I don't think you understand the situation you're in. Which Start movie? Is, what movie you is need... that from? The Good, the Bad, the Ugly, or? Or El Camino. Red, white, and blue. Oh, I've not seen that one yet. Yeah, it, it, it involves this guy kicking the shit out of you. It's really good. You should watch <laughs> it. I'll give you front row seats, too. Front row seats? Do you think he's in a movie? Well, here's your fucking I'm going to my room. I took it already. I'm going to my room. <laughs> so you're at the, the you're at the elevator. He's still threatening the hotel staff. <laughs> they deserve it. This, this it. started with me stepping up for my buddy, but now this got personal. So you he just call me a bad Clint Eastwood. You enter into the elevator as it shuts behind you with Kraken also beside you. And the elevator starts going up. You've been given room 222. Ooh. <laughs> and. Enoch, what do you say to the two high schoolers manning the front desk? <laughs> it's getting dangerously close to literal death threats. We'll, we'll, we'll keep we'll, we'll, we'll keep it in the realm of just I'm gonna I'm gonna make you pick up your teeth with broken fingers, Harry. I was starting to wonder why you had so many people mad at you. What? Oh, evening. <laughs> They're just kids, you know. I don't like kids. I've noticed. They're stupid. Oh. And that's coming from me. <clears throat> Anyways, um, glad you could come. Everybody else has gotten their own fucking rooms or whatever. Well, I am more concerned about finding Joe. Well, would you like to get a look for? Yes, please. Let's go take a ride. Let's go take a ride. Also, I turn back around. If I ever see you again. Yeah, boy. Bro, he stays in character. He's really good. I'm, yeah, I, I, bro. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flip open my coat. And I'm going to show him my gun. My real ass gun. It even looks real. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna walk away before I actually kill these children. Bro, it was so epic. I can't wait to fucking tweet about this. <laughs> Hashtag Elon. <laughs> Hashtag let this sink in. What the fuck? <laughs> Now he's just confused. The anger is replaced by confusion. What, what the fuck is that even? You know what? I'm I'm going away. I'm walking out. All right, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna follow Mira to her vehicle. Follow Mira to her vehicle. I'll send a quick text to Enoch. Let me know if you find anything. I'll be uh, using my resources as well. Cowboy gunslinger emoji. 
Mummy emoji. Climb in, they climb into the car, pull out of the parking lot, and start heading down the road. Oh, last thing we saw of her was back at where we were when you originally called me. But apparently she was seen at some, what the fuck they call it, a guild, getting supplies and heading out. What uh, sort of guild? I don't have a fucking clue, but apparently they're like some kind of cyborg ninjas or some shit. Tell me more. Um, from what I've seen, I'm pretty sure they're all chicks. Really? Yeah. They all wear masks, too. Really? Very spooky. Very spooky. And... Joe hangs out with them? Yeah, sometimes she dips out to go wherever the fuck she goes. She came out with broken bones one time. That nearly set me off. I was about to go there myself. Wherever there it was. Yeah, we should find her. You know something that I should know? I know a lot of things. Well, yeah, you're old. No offense. I'm pretty old. That's true. Do you, are these people dangerous? Pretty dangerous. Is Joe in danger? Probably. Shh. They're not running alone for a goddamn minute. Join some kind of psycho ninja thing called shit. Well, that's the last anyone saw of her. I think I know where she may be. By all means. Pedal to the mill. Yeah, it's going to be a little while to drive, though. Right. Ain't got nothing but time, right? Nothing but time. So you grew up on a farm, you said? Yep. Farmhand from my daddy. Had four brothers. Yep. And like son had. Like I told you, I was I'm a taxi driver. I heard that before. Wait I know. How did you? Who are you? Amira. No shit. Who are you? You really want to know? I mean, fuck, Mira. I goddamn died, and then you were in my goddamn head talking to me. She said some spooky fucking shit. The car pulls over. Why are we stopping? Who do you think I am? Oh, no, I mean, I know you as Mira. I know you're older than you let on to believe. If you could make one guess. Have I told you that someone else was inside my head before? I know. How? There's been prophecies about it. So you want to believe that shit? Yeah. It's the difference between believing and living through it. 
What the fuck you mean living through it? Can't possibly be that old. Right. Mira. I'm pretty old, you know. You keep saying that. Still haven't guessed yet. I don't fucking know. I've never been one for fucking history. You know about the woman fucking Lilith inside my head somehow. You know things that ought not be known. You're old as shit, apparently. <coughs> or are you like a, the fuck they call progenitor? Not quite. You ain't a spooky like demon, are you? Mm. I don't like that noise you made. Can I take you somewhere? I mean, I ain't got nowhere else to go. Cool. Sure. Car pulls off and starts driving down the road. Casper. Yeah. What's up? I don't like your friend. It takes some getting used to. He's not normally so grumpy. Are you sure? He seems pretty grumpy. Well, I guess I've only known them a few weeks, but... Grump was never at this level. Hmm. Must be... Tension. Do you feel What's pressure up? wrap around you? As her obfuscation is broken. You know that hurts, right? That's the fun part. <clears throat> Fortunately, we still got some things to do tonight. Like what? I'd like to check in on Joe, if possible. Uh, why don't you just check your GPS? He's... She have a tracker on her? Stop that. Of course she's got a tracker on her. We put one on her jacket. She shouldn't be surprised. I'll pull out my phone. How do you think she got found? Fair enough. Well, let's see if we can track her then. She is at the old observatory, Haven. And Gallencroft. <coughs> is she going way back there? <coughs> About how far of a drive would that be? About two and a half hours. Oof. And what time is it now? Midnight. Oof. I will call Enoch. Okay. We'll fade to black then at this scene. Fade back in with our 
naughty kindreds. What is going on now? <laughs> Someone, if you play the drum beat sound effect, would be really nice right now. Ooh, you know what? I know the music that's playing in the background. It's that one where uh, uh, fucking the Lion King, where the two Lion kids met back up Can and they're frolicking. Yeah, that's the love. one. Yeah, that's what I'm imagining. <laughs> oh shit. Let me shut the fuck up. <clears throat> Zeb will be putting his suit back on at this point. <clears throat> That was unexpected. As I... you said, love makes us do crazy things. Yes. For once, I'm not entirely sure how to react. Housekeeping! <clears throat> no, yeah, that happens. The housekeeper knocks on the door. Enoch oh, playing the housekeeper. Christ. Oh yeah! No, no, no. It's I'm I'm I come in now. Housekeeping. Lord. Of course, now would be the time. Okay, I come in happen. now. Do you hear me fiddling at the door? Is it Enoch I hear at the fucking door? It's a, a la an nope, old it's lady. Housekeeping. An old lady. Okay. Hello. I am housekeeping. You, I am not uh, clean. You fully dressed, Ella. He's covered, at least. Okay. Oh, I sorry. Mm -hmm. I interrupt something. Sorry. <laughs> Do not worry, I sit back, I watch. Oh, what the fuck? Jet <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> will crack open the door. Uh, how can I help you? I had to clean. Clean. Yep. Dirty room needs cleaning. Could you maybe come back a little later? Oh, I had to drop something. I'm sorry. I'll be quiet now. Just but... starts uh, wheeling away the cart, the concession cart, <laughs> and just squeaks every few feet. And the door Unless shuts. you want me to watch. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> We're not there yet. God damn it. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Anyways. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I have no idea what's happening anymore. I've seen the future. I... I was... But you didn't see this coming, did you? No. This is... This was not a future shown to me. Not that I would complain, I suppose. <clears throat> but I digress. There are things that I need to tell you, Bella. Anything. The night that I was stuck in Torpor, the night 
that you and the Coterie were able to awaken me. I met Set. How? I don't know the answer to that question. For some reason, Set decided to contact me. Pulled me in through my dreams, quote unquote. <clears throat> he showed me a gruesome future. One in which everyone dies. That battle between Enoch and Joe, that was a crucial moment to what happens in the future. Well, and is there was, anything we can do to stop it? That was my goal. <clears throat> I failed. No. The future did not have me saving Enoch either. So maybe I didn't fail entirely. However, I'm afraid I was far too late. There are many other events that will be coming up. I don't know exactly when, but these coming events, if not stopped, may spell the doom for all of us. Well then what do we do now? I've been wondering that. For the past week. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Set is not very forthcoming with information. He hasn't contacted me since. And I have no idea when one thing will happen or the next. <clears throat> As we fade to black at this point, a truck pulls up to an old dilapidated farmhouse way out in the country. Enoch, there's a few things you're going to learn tonight. We're probably going to change our relationship. Um, uh, quick, quick question. Uh, that, it, it, this is actually purely like, a, we're, we're just going to learn something. Nothing, nothing untoward is about to happen, right? Strictly gonna learn something. All right. You're gonna want to answer that phone call, though. What phone call? Is this one of those scenes where you like tell me that something's about to happen and then it just happens? Your phone starts ringing. Okay. What is it? Casper. Casper. Yeah, I'll answer it. Hello? How far are you from Gallencroft? You mean the White House? Or observatory, whatever the fuck that thing was? Yeah, that's where Joe is. Uh, I 
far away am I? Where you are, GPS don't work. I would love to answer that question, but I do not think the planet knows where I am. You know, that big old satellite that tells me where the map is? Yeah, I don't think that's working. All right, we're going to start heading there. It's going to take me about two and a half hours, too, if I book it. All right, what for? Joe's there. He is? Yeah. Shit. Oh. I'm just looking uh, back and forth from the phone and uh, Mira. We'll be there as soon as we can. There's just something we got to finish up here. All right. I'll meet you there. I'll hang, hang up. up. <coughs> the phone clicks. <coughs> Spooky. Now you were able to guess that. No, a lot of things. Been around Clearly. a long time. As you keep saying. Tell me about your parents, Enoch. Uh, parents? Well, uh, She gets out of the truck, shuts the door, uh, taking uh, the keys was with her. Hard working, solid of the earth man. Kicked the shit out of me whenever I fucked up. Luckily, I only fucked up once or twice, but sure as hell taught me not to fuck up at him. He was... I was definitely a hard man, but I, I still think he cared. Mom, well, she was the shoulder I used to cry on. She was the woman that raised me. I mean, I owe everything to her. She fed me, clothed me, gave me a roof over my head. I felt safe with my family. At this point, you two are walking up to this old dilapidated house and entering into the house. Past this door, everything's going to change. All right. Okay. You want to know who I am? You're going to get your answer. Where did I come next time? I'll step in. She unlocks the door and pushes in. House is old. <coughs> She starts heading upstairs, this old rickety staircase. Do you follow? Mm -hmm. This two flighted staircase, you head up. And on the wall, there is a stone tablet. It is five foot by five foot and broken at the top. I'm going to run my hand across it and see if I, like, how much dust is caked on it. None. But it, there's text in it and chiseled. But it's in Arabic. Has she stopped or is she still going in? It, this is at the top floor. Oh, okay. She's standing in front of it. What is this? This is an original page from the Book of Nod. You mean that thing Joe always has? Yeah. This in particular page talks about Cain and his first child, Enoch. Is that what people kept talking about? Yeah. You see, everyone seems to think that you're this child. That don't make no damn sense. I can't you possibly be that old. You can't possibly be that old. And it's almost impossible for you to be that child. 
Almost impossible. Yeah. Because I'm Enoch. This Enoch. That Enoch. Oh. And as you look to her, the illusion fades. Do you see your mother? I don't understand. How do you know what my mother looks like? Because I am your mother. We made you. We? Yeah. Was my father alive too? He's dead. Your father was mortal. How, how long have you been planning this? Your whole life. I don't understand why. How? How? How was I able to take you to all your soccer games and walk you to school in the morning? Because I'm not a normal kindred. You see, I'm what they call a monstrosity. I walk the line of kindred and lupine. I am both. The sunlight doesn't affect me much. And my sire is Cain. You know, it's, uh, at this point, uh, Lent, Lent up against the wall and he's just sliding down to sit on the floor. What does that mean? <laughs> well, it means that the end times are here. That this book, the words in it are coming true. The blood's thinning. The thin bloods are here. Lilith and her cronies are running rampant, and it sounds like that little girlfriend of yours is a part of them. Ain't Lilith some kind of actual demon or something? She has been called a lot of things. Some look to her as a demon. Some look to her as an angel. Some look to her as God. I don't understand what's happening right now. What? It's okay to be confused. How am I real? We made you. How? Because it is written that in the end of days, the city of Enoch will fall. It is written that Cain and Lilith will do battle one last time before the world floods itself with blood. It is written that everyone will receive judgment from Cain. It is written
but what it's not written. Is this text on the wall that wasn't included in the book? What does that say? Where the child of Enoch and the child of Lilith will battle to the death while the parents argue. Well, if I have... I'm supposed to be the child of Enoch in this fucking stone tablet? Yeah. Who's Lilith's child? I think you know. No. Well, you, you can't tell me that. Not her. I have to head out east. To help with the judgment. To help with the rebuilding of the city. The showdown here will take place in Ontario. So the only reason I exist is because some fucking stone tablet told me I did. Prophecy. Yeah. But did you, you care? Of course I cared. I always cared. You. Made me happy in ways that I thought I would never experience. I've lived a million lifetimes, Enoch. But this one was the best. And now you're sending me to my death? You really don't read, do you? Who bought you all those books? I'm not sending you to your death, no. You will be victorious. I don't want to kill her. Lilith chose her because she knew it would be hard for you. Is she being controlled or something? Is there anything we can do to stop her? If you can get Lilith out of her mind, Lilith will have to take a new host. But it'll be very hard. I'd do anything to keep her alive. I, I can't. I almost killed her already. It's a decision she has to make on her own. She has to actively fight against her. I'll convince her. I'll... God damn it, I'll do something! And fight her willingly. This part of the prophecy is not written. But if you can't convince her, she will have to go to down back east to receive judgment. And what happens if she's judged? Those who are judged are set free. So 
So now that doesn't sound as good as you're making your own thing. You wanted to know who I was. You asked me what you could call me. And I told you. I knew what? No, I said he know. <clears throat> if you can convince her to betray the ways of Lilith, so be it. But Lilith will choose a new host. But you still are the Fist of Cain. And you will have to do battle. And Lilith will sink her fangs into whatever you cherish close. If not Joe, then Jet. If not Jet, then Belladonna. Not Belladonna. Then Birch. She'll come after your friends first. Why is she doing this? Why is a demon attacking your vulnerabilities? Fair enough. What happens when the world advances? What happens what? What happens when the world ends? It depends on who you ask. It depends on who wins. If Lilith wins, the seventh day, the lupine will die of hunger. The vitae will be as rare as diamonds the world will split in half and crack the cane wins it's a little less tragic you have a copy of the book of nod i'll put it in your bag i know you do should read it. So you're writing out a storm. Have to. She, uh, he still looks like my mother, right? She doesn't look like your mother. She is your mother. You know it. You get that same comforting feeling. Before you go, can I ask a favor of you? Yeah. Can I lay down in your lap again? Sure. After she sits down, I'm just going like, to crawl over and just lay my head on her lap and I'm just going to start crying. She like 
runs her fingers through your hair. She starts singing that lullaby to you that you remember from being a kid. Missed you so damn much. Always been here. You know, what the craziest part of this is? What? You've met my sire already. Okay. He's here in Ontario for now. We're laughing about it. He likes to play jokes. Because it's a family thing. You know that old limo driver that worked for Jet? Yeah. Yeah. No. Mm hmm. Yeah, damn it. Is that why I never met Grandpa? That wasn't all. He just popped around a few times. This is going to be the last time that you see me. Ever? Yep. So this is goodbye for real? I'm afraid so. Are you going to be safe? Saved? Safe. Safe. No. I will not make it back. I am... This is the end of my story. I have a job to do once I get out east. I will be judged, as everyone else will be. After I partake in the great battle. Even though I am his child, I will not be saved. My existence is pain. You should not exist, Enoch. The Ravenos as a whole should not exist. A kindred lupine hybrid should not exist. I'm not doing What was that? Then why do we? Just because some book said so? I don't have a choice. The beckoning is stronger than you know. You're not old enough to to feel it yet. It's 
there anything else you want to know before I go? Take your left, mate. Of course. Never stop. Dumbass. You know, it's gonna stand up. Guess I got a world to say. Guess you do. gonna start walking down the stairs and uh, stop halfway I'm gonna turn back around she's holding a gun out to you take it I'll grab it it's an old Henry repeater it was your dad's gun Uh, yeah. And Enoch is going to strap it over his shoulder and he's going to walk out and head towards the original program uh, she head out of the house and down the road you go back to the hotel <coughs> Casper the Kraken Belladonna Jet You've all rendezvoused in the lobby. Fully clothed, I hope. What are you all doing? Kraken is still invisible. Judas would be getting them up on speed of where Joe is and whether they want to go to. Wait, what? What did you say? Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. I don't know where Joe is. Are y'all coming with me? Where is Joe? At the observatory in Gallencroft. The hell is she doing at the observatory? Jet, you still have camera access to this place. You would know that. No, I don't. You w oh yeah you don't never mind I lied. Mm -hmm. You you would know that you used to. <sighs> I do not regret shattering my soul. <clears throat> I'll just buy a new one. It doesn't matter. Well. Yes. We need to we need to find Joe. We're with you. Good. Well, do you and have a vehicle? I do. And I suppose since What? Casper's going to turn around for a second. Mm -mm. Whisper, are you going to stay invisible or would you like me to introduce you? Hmm. Depends on how you introduce me. Turns back around. 
Well, my friend I was helping is joining us. My friend? <sighs> my girlfriend. <laughs> <coughs> Let me throw a picture of notable figures. Give me a moment. <clears throat> a picture that not even Casper has seen. Oh no. <laughs> not going to ask because she's wearing clothes on this one. <laughs> Taking blind date to a new level, ain't you? <laughs> God damn, that's some what you call it. Uh commitment. Yeah, that's the part. I ain't good with words of more than two syllables. I'm sorry. Who the fuck put Clint as my middle name? <laughs> Probably Joe. <clears throat> you motherfuckers. <laughs> she has kick your ass. She has admin <laughs> in here. No, thank you. My name is Eastwood. Next time I see somebody called Eastwood, I'm going to kill them. That's it. <laughs> that, nothing special. I'm just going to kill them. Better not watch Back to the Future Part 3. Right? I'll kill every Eastwood in this goddamn planet. <laughs> You got this, Shy. I believe in you. So, Discord just loading up for me. Mm. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> How are you doing? This is Kraken. Kraken, these are my uh, friends. She's gonna be cracking something. Her mask looks like this. God damn. Hello. She has the same symbol engraved on her helmet that Casper has engraved on his forehead. Joe yelled at me to make sure that you posted this VOD. She did? <laughs> yeah. Did you already tell Joe the, the secret? No. I just okay. told her she's going to lose her shit when she watches it. Oh. Bet she'll watch it tonight. <clears throat> oh yeah, we should probably be going. Uh, not sure where Enoch is, but I, I let him know where we were going. Uh, sure, who's driving you and me? Well, it depends how how good are good are you at driving. Um, I'm the best driver. Oh, I have no reason to disbelieve you, so you can drive. Uh, I mean, you should probably drive. I, <laughs> I'm not really that good. I was lying. 
I appreciate that you're still trying to impress me. Uh, nice. Oh. Nice. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go. Cars <coughs> should be outside. Yeah. No. Casper, pull out his keys. Should be noted that Aminatu is not with all of you either. Oh, she's probably back at the cave. Hello. She's been known to disappear. Yeah, it's not a big deal anymore. <laughs> she's like a stray dog. Feed them <laughs> once, they all they come back. They they never oh leave. My God. <clears throat> What, you can't tell me I'm wrong? You're wrong, she's more like a cat. Uh, you know, I don't, I, I, I can't see it. I can't. No, 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 I, I, I make a correction. She's like a wombat. Okay, no, yeah, wombat. Th that, that, that wombat. I can see. A rabid that, wombat. That I can see, yes. A wombat. Yeah. <clears throat> You're welcome. For this mystical insight. While you were all sitting there, a man walks into the hotel lobby past all of you. He looks at you, squints for a moment, um, and then walks up to the front desk where the teenagers are. Starts getting a room, talks to them for a few minutes before they slide him a key, and he heads to the elevator. Um, when he gets on the elevator, he pulls out a cell phone and starts talking into it. The elevator door closes behind him. Well, we've probably drawn enough attention. Let's go. Guess we'll start walking out. Into the car. Yep, into the car. As you head out to the car, uh, the new one would like to roll wits and awareness. Now would be the time, if not. Sure, I can try. <laughs> I could also give it a shot. Got one success. Difficulty? We will call it two. Okay. I failed. I also failed. Well, I got, I one success. got one success. Yeah. Anyone doing any of our normal things? No, it'd be kind of weird to see a car driving itself. Okay. Well, you none of you notice anything out of the ordinary in this parking lot. Uh, okay. The car explodes and you all die. Man. <laughs> well, that be way to go. go. You failed to see the car bomb that was on the hood of the car. <laughs> it's sitting in the driver's seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting right on top of it and yeah. still didn't notice. You, it you, is you, in the you seat. Move it, you move it to the side and <coughs> get in. Oh, hell is this? What's this weird ticking thing? Get this shit out. <laughs> Toss it out the window <laughs> and explode as we're driving away. What are you guys doing? <laughs> kind of music you like cracking. K pop. A fucking course. Oh, of course. <laughs> The fuck's a K-pop? Uh, I guess we're about to find out. No, God damn it. No. Casper will plug, plug his phone into the stereo and she, on she, playlist on she, she selects BTS. Uh, we'll, we'll play some BTS then. I don't even know what they're saying. <laughs> I've heard some good Japanese songs. I'm sure the Korean songs can't be that bad. She, she's rocking out. She's going hard. Adorable. We'll drive out. Start heading towards Gallencroft. Jet will look over to Bella. Please, 
never act like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about that. You have a two and a half hour drive to get to the destination. Does anything happen at this point in time? We're not making any stops at Burger King, right? Not again. Good. I'm still missing my Waffle, 30... Waffle, 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 Junior. Shut still... up, Enoch. You're not here. <laughs> still missing my 30,000 chicken fingers. Oh my god. <laughs> that is an injustice we must rectify immediately. I will buy Burger King right now. The franchise, <laughs> not the building. The franchise. Uh, I go for some chicken bites. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyone need to stop anywhere else for supplies or anything? I don't believe so. You've got everything, sure. Bella? Yep. Well, you're missing one thing. God damn it. What's that? <laughs> Jet will grab onto Bella's hand. Me. <clears throat> At this point in time, you stare into her eyes and get lost into them. Right. Guess it's just you and me cracking for conversation. Yeah, yeah. Um. I think things should be interesting soon. As she's looking in the mirror. God, I hope not. I'm not cleaning that up. What's going on in the back seat? <laughs> Bella's just gonna break eye contact and just lay her head on Jet's shoulder. Eight and trails. just... <laughs> oh no, no. no. Mom. <laughs> Give them what they want. No. Gonna stop otherwise. No. They have what they ever got what they wanted. So <clears throat> you may want to duck. What? As a bullet rips to the back windshield. Oh, shit. <laughs> We've been followed since the parking lot. And you didn't bother to say anything? <clears throat> You're having a moment. It'd be rude to interrupt. Oh, I, I think death really would car. be ruder. <laughs> I, think, I think your unbridled horniness is preventing us from surviving. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll is... put pedal to the metal and speed up. The motorcycle behind you does a wheelie and starts to catch up. Son of a bitch. All right. The but universal uh, law. Every wheelie always makes you go exponentially faster. Everyone knows this. That's okay. <clears throat> Bella, keep your head down. This is might he, get messy. Is he on passenger or oh, driver's right. side? He's riding in center mass. Well, if he's speeding up, <clears throat> I'm going to... Start applying the brakes and see if I can get him to hit us and flip over. We'll drive check. Yeah. I'm not good at those, but I'll do it. He's about you fucker. One, he's about one car length behind. Um I'm a I'm going to go ahead and blood surge. Roll success. Difficulty three. There's traffic. Willpower reroll. Two. <clears throat> you manage to hit the brake and you lose him in the mirror you don't see him shit I'll pull out my gun Bella you look next Pistol. to you look out the window and there's a gun on your face and they shoot I'm gonna see if they hit you I, I'm sorry what <laughs> they take a shot at you 
Yes, can I try and dodge it? Of course you can. Okay, what do I roll? <laughs> dodge a bullet from a sitting position. Let's see how well this goes. I mean, you. I can lean forward very quickly. Uh, so it'll be a dexterity. And okay. uh, I'm not going to really allow athletics here. We'll call it dexterity. Just dexterity? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then difficulty? Difficulty is three. All right. Please. Mm. Okay. One success. One success. Let's see oh, much. shit. Here we go again. Oh, well, the bonus <laughs> that's dice, a little late. But a little late. <laughs> that's a little <laughs> late. <coughs> a little late. Let's see how much damage it does, because damage is different now. <clears throat> That's a lot of damage. Oh no. No, please. Point blank range. Four aggravated. How do, how, how do I mark? What, hmm? For aggravated damage. It'll be mm -hmm. an X instead of a slash. So basically a full square. Yeah. Four, full Four of them? Four. Point blank range. I think that's her way of saying she's dead. Yeah. Get knocked into Torpor? Mm hmm. As this motorcycle rolls up, Casper applies the brake. Next thing you see, Jet, is this gun come in through the window I mean, next to Bella's temple, and as her body flies over limp next to you. Gray Lit matter all over you. Literally falling onto your shoulder. <laughs> she falls into torpor. Beautifully done. You can't see how fast I'm clapping my hand. I'm gonna veer the car into the into the motorcycle. Drive check. They will make an opposing drive check. Another blood another blood surge. That's a failure. I get a little bit hungrier. They failed too. You have to be the two. Three. <laughs> they turn into you and you turn into them hitting the bike they <laughs> hit a median <laughs> before the bike does several flips in the air and smashing into oncoming traffic <clears throat> fucker I'll speed up again get us fuck out of here in case anyone else is following uh, the moment if the car stops, shit, it will hop out of the vehicle. No, we're not stopping, baby. Fuck it, I'll <laughs> hop out moving. <laughs> <laughs> going, going 90 miles an hour. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm flying to this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> the, good the, the bike exploded. That is a bona fide Enoch yeah. move, and I wholeheartedly agree. The, the, you're, you're jumping out and going to it? Oh, yeah. You're going to find the driver, I s presume. Yes. Hmm. Okay. You find him on the ground, wrapped around a tree. Body broken. He's, oh, he's actually impaled by a branch. I will need... You to make a dexterity and we'll call it athletics rule to see how much damage you take jumping out of a car moving upwards of 60 miles an hour though well i don't know if you can hear me but your boyfriend's a dumbass <laughs> jet's gonna jump out and fall to the door <laughs> uh difficulty 
uh, I'm gonna say five. And you're s I, you're still gonna I, take damage at that. Can I take a devil? You break your ankle so goddamn hard you fall. It, do you have Do you have celerity? Celerity? I don't think. No, I don't have celerity. I'm not giving you a bonus dice because you did this to yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, so if you have like celerity and can like match the the car's speed, I would say like you could do it without damage, but without celerity or like protein or like something to like take the hit, you're gonna be probably taking some damage from this. You gotta learn that if you ain't Enoch, you can't pull off Enoch shit. Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. Actually, I won't need to do that. The payment's I mean, about to do you, it you for can, me. You can, you can roll five <laughs> and aim for the bushes. With this roll, am I allowed to take a devil's mark? Yes, but I will say you'll still take damage. That's fine. I will take the bargain. The okay. devil helps you. <clears throat> Holy shit. So you're still going to take threes aggravated As you hit the ground and tumble. Traffic swerves out of the way. <clears throat> I don't mean to interrupt this beautifully athletic moment, but it's getting kind of late for me and I gotta, gotta okay. run in the morning, so... All right, go to bed. Yeah. Goodbye. If there is another plow scene, hit, hit, hit me up. I'll I'll play I'll play the uh. From some ass, from some ass. I watch. You okay? know, no, go to bed. Go. That's a, that, that's, that's an audio huh. that's an audio clip on the channel now. Oh god. Oh gotta, god, help us all. I gotta adjust the I'll, cameras I'll real quick. In. <laughs> okay. Chet, yeah, you better not be a fucking door for us. Swear to God. No, I'm still alive. Okay. Making my way to this asshole. Against my better judgment, I guess I'll start. Lowing the car down instead of leaving him behind. You see him, like I said, you see him on the ground wrapped around a tree. Is he still breathing? He is. He's got a full biker kit gear on, though. Um, full blacked out gear. Look at you. All sad and helpless. You made a mistake. Coming after me and my friends. You will suffer the worst things <coughs> imaginable. You will not die. I'll make sure of that. <clears throat> He'll uh, take off his biker helm. And he will cut his hand open. Yeah. And he will force feed. Force feed? Force feed. Let me get my book out here real quick. <clears throat> As you take this mortal's helmet off. Make a frenzy check. As what you start sucking on is not Vite. Oh no, uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not drinking from him. You're not. I'm making him drink from me. Oh, you're ghouling him. I'm ghouling him. Okay. <clears throat> this, uh, you would know this is a Inquisition member. 
I do not give a fuck. Okay. I need to make a certain roll here. Give me a minute. Mm-hmm. Love makes you do crazy things. That it does. Uh, he successfully ghoul him. <coughs> you are mine. What do you need me to do? Hmm. Well, let's start off with following. I've got places to be and people to see. We can walk and talk, or in this case, drive and talk. <clears throat> Jed will start heading back over to the to the car. Uh, the man crawls up, holding his ribs, and he starts slumping over towards the car. <laughs> Jasper's at this point. <laughs> Dude has started blowing the horn. Hurry, the fuck up. Hurry, <coughs> the fuck up. <coughs> <laughs> General fucking <laughs> pop open the fucking side door. <laughs> fucking arm somewhat shattered. <laughs> Along with his ghoul, <coughs> it was also shattered. I would bitch you out, but I know you're not going to learn anything. Get in. Get in the vehicle, ghoul. <clears throat> this man gets in the vehicle. He's got clear symbols of the Inquisition all over him. He has obvious signs that he's wearing wires and obvious tracking devices that you can see, Casper. He said he does? Yes, you can see. <coughs> Take all, all that shit this. off of him. Take it all off. Go. He starts to toss it out the window. You got anything else? I'm not afraid to do a cavity search. No, no, that's it. No. Go ahead and pull off. <clears throat> What's your name, Ghoul? Simmons. I don't like that name. Your name is Dog from now on. You're being awful nice to him right now, Jet. That I am. Also, you should probably, well, no, let, don't don't feed your girlfriend your blood. We'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. I'll feed her if I have to. Hell, this should help with the tour for her. But right now, we got to get out of here before more, before more show up or the cops. <sighs> it's true. All right. Step on it. We've no time to waste. No, speed up. <clears throat> the car speeds up. <coughs> After a while, time passes. 
We finally arrive at the old observatory, down a crop thicket. And I'll double check the uh, tracker just to make sure she's still here. The tracker's in the parking lot. You actually see Enoch and her outside talking. As you pull up, Enoch and her walk over to the side of the building to, for some privacy, it looks like. I was going to do <sighs> Well, we're here. That was Enoch and Joe, I believe. Jasper's going to test something and call Enoch's phone to see if he can hear their ringtone. You call the phone? Yeah. From around the corner, you hear. What the hell do you want? Just making sure it's you. Phone hangs up. <coughs> Since we're here, <coughs> we can't leave Bella in the vehicle like this. Yeah, let's get her laid down somewhere. I'm assuming this place isn't safe anymore, but we ain't got much of a choice right now. No, no, we don't. Dog, mm. help me move her. Sir. Starts helping you lift her. And Judas will get out the car and go over to the other side to open the door for Kraken. She slithers out. Shuts the door. You and Dog carry the d body of your coterie comrade into your former haven. Old tech junk litters the floor. Looks like at some point people tried to Molotov burn this place to the ground. Upside down anarchy symbols litter this place. The mark of a bruja. Multiple people have been here looking for you and most likely in search of Enoch. This haven is trashed. A safe place that was once your escape that no one knew where it existed is now what looks to be a, a public refuse. I'm going to start looking around for any signs of why Joe may have been here. See Joe's bag on the table as well as the laptop. However, the laptop is shut and powered down. I'll check her bag first to see what kind of equipment she got. She's got two guns. Some personal defense equipment, her taser. A few vials of yellow liquid. Phone. Standard equipment. Well, let's check the laptop then. <clears throat> you open the laptop and it takes you to a lock screen. I'm going to crack it. I'm pretty good at these. Yeah, attempt to crack it. You will have to address this next week with what you find. I need a technology and stealth check. If you wish to do it stealthily. Oh, she's going to find out anyways. I'm not doing it stealthily. All right, technology and intelligence. <coughs> <coughs> 
Difficulty nine. And then password is technically a sort of security system, right? Yep. Ah, oh, what the hell? Let's rouse the blood just to add two more on there. Failure. A little bit hungrier. Not too bad. Almost. We're going to willpower reroll. Ah, oh, it's still an eight. You don't manage to crack the password. He is pretty good with this stuff. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Close the laptop. Just have to ask her when they're done talking, I guess. You do also find a notebook. Hmm. Sure, let's check that. It's not in Joe's handwriting. Any names on it? No names. But there is the clan logo for the Nosferatu. I'm going to flip to the most recent page and read it. No text, just a logo. What is this logo? It's a crude sketch. And it is the same logo that our Discord server logo is. Yeah. Uh, and Casper will take some time to start reading through. See if he can figure out whose this was or why Joe has it. Okay. We'll have to address that next week. Bella, you are unconscious. Jet, you are carrying someone who's unconscious. Yes, yes I what, am. What do you order dog to do? <laughs> Ooh. I wonder if that would work. Okay. We'll take her up to Jet's old bedroom. Okay. It is now covered in piss <laughs> <Just piss. laughs> people have been pissing all over this place it's just covered in piss okay yep. people have been pissing everywhere here first is, first a sewer now piss why <laughs> okay maybe not my room um what about him? Let's take it to Bella's room. More piss. <laughs> There's a pile of bones and skeletal remains in this room. Looks like they've been burnt recently. Well, that's better than piss. Arguably. Is the bed still there? Mm hmm. It's actually a body under the blanket on the bed. Or the outline of one. The outline of a body? Yeah, it looks like someone's like covered up by a blanket. Like someone's laying on the bed underneath the covers. Who the hell? You know what? I don't want to disturb a 
resting sleeper. So you know what? I'll just close the door. <clears throat> Let's ignore that. <laughs> just for now. No, I'm joking. <clears throat> Dog. Hmm. Check who that is. Sir. And keep your weapon ready. Pulls out his pistol. He puts it on the head of the person. He pulls the blanket back. Say, oh, we got a live one. Do you want me to take it out? Hold on. Let me get a closer look. See, I'm not to. Of course it's um, no. Well, hold on. <laughs> let me let me weigh let me let me weigh the benefits and the just the benefits. She looks to be unresponsive and having a hyper vision. I could I could end it all now with just just one bullet from this man's gun. There is a gallon of PCP on the ground that is empty. You know, let's just uh, just drag her off the bed. Number on the floor. I don't really care. Just don't don't kill her. <clears throat> you can do that, dog, can't you? Yes, sir. Very good. <coughs> I'm not as used to living in filth anyways. Waking up on the floor wouldn't be the end of the world. And he moves the body to the floor. Jet will play, gently place Bella's body onto her bed. Bella's body is laid onto her bed. Give me your hand, dog. Sir. I pray this works. My blood will poison her, sir. What do you mean? I mean that I have chemicals injected into my veins. Hmm. So am I. Seems we only have one choice. Dog. Yes. Bring Casper to me. Sir. Which one's Casper? Uh, the big one with the mask. Yes, sir. He saunters out to the hallway. Casper, you hear. Hey! You! On the laptop. You need it. Close the book and throw it on the table as I get up and go see what's going on. What's up, Jen? None of us. I don't even trust Amanatu's blood for this. None of us in the coterie are able to feed Bella Dawn. My blood is poison. I believe Enox is poison. Joe, Joe's blood is poison. Are you saying you're asking me to do it? I have no other choice. Very well. <clears throat> no. 
go up to Bella and take out my little <laughs> Swiss Army knife. And cut my wrist and rip the blood into her mouth. Bella. Uh-huh. Let me get the ambient set. Oh, no. <laughs> You find yourself sitting on a beach. <laughs> you hear the ambience? Very faintly, but yes. Yeah, okay, there we go. The... It's midday. You haven't seen the sun in forever. You're alone. Watching the waves go in and out, cascading across the wet sand is peaceful in a way. You feel a warm presence wash over you. You see a lone ship slowly start to appear on the horizon out of this misty cloud. A voice speaks to you. Do I recognize the voice? Oh, okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Very much, actually. There's many beaches around the world that I visited. This one was my favorite. Quite nice. You don't know me, but you will, soon. I have special plans for you, Belladon. When will I figure out these plans? Well... Thanks to Judas, a lot sooner rather than later. How will I know when? You will be called for a purpose. And that call is coming. And what if I don't wish to be called? Then Egypt will be buried. And with it, all of its followers. Only you can save them. What? No, what did, what did you say? Egypt will be buried if you choose not to follow the call. And only you can save them. I guess I don't truly have a choice then, do I? You have as much free will as you wish. What you do with that free will is up to you. It's 
Set needs a queen. This is my favorite part. As a colossal whale surfaces up from the ocean, engulfing the ship with the cataclysmic type wave, lightning strikes three times and you awake. Hey, there you are. Casper's gonna help Bella sit up. What what happened? Well, got shot in the head. That explains why my head hurts. <laughs> At least there's something, but I'm going with it anyways. Just real stand up and take a step back because he assumes Chet wants to check on her. No, Jet. I can't hear you, Jet. <laughs> Your lips are flapping. Oh, this. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Anyways. Jet will embrace Belladonna. Are you sure you're all right? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Positive. Yes. Good. I'm glad. I could not stand to lose you. Trust me, I'm stronger than I look. I wish I could say the same. Ah, right, I, I should bring, well, actually, maybe I shouldn't bring this up. Heels motion his head towards dog. This, um, this is the person that put a bullet in your skull. <laughs> She's gonna go to get up. But not be able to. But she's gonna go like you son of a bad K. Never mind. I'll get to you later. <clears throat> In dear mind, you start to hear something whisper. Oh Jesus! My eyes pierced the darkness of his torment. My voice stilled the cold warmth within his bones, and I held him like a child, as if he were the son of my birthmate and myself. I wept with him, for as if he were my own son. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, are you all right, Bella? You seem to be distracted. I'm just hearing shit. I'm fine. Hearing things? Probably normal when you've had a bullet bath to your brain. I've had several. I can't <clears throat> say I've had the same experience. Still, I suppose we all recover in our own ways. <clears throat> She's gonna immediately think back to the conversation that Jet had with her at the hotel. And it's just gonna kind of... Jet, can I speak to you privately? And then looks over at Jess. <laughs> Or 
podcast. Sure, every, everybody have their own little conversations. I got some reading to do anyway. Yes, Chet. Uh, no, I was, I was just about to say, if you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Just uh, be out there. Nice. <laughs> Judith will leave. Dog, keep guard outside the door. We're uh, we're gonna follow Casper real quick as he walks outside the door. Mm-hmm. And I imagine you're reading up on the notebook. <clears throat> yeah, I'll go back to the notebook. What's Kraken doing anyway? She is spying on Enoch and Joe's conversation. <clears throat> Fair enough. Let me know if you hear anything interesting. No, go back to my book. As you scroll through, you find cryptid text, which spells out the name of an old Nosferatu friend, Cassius. Does that sound familiar? Some friend long thought dead from Chicago. It's taken by Project Blacklight. Does it say that they're still around, or what does it say about them? This looks to be a book of his research. It's scrambled texts and jargons about wanting to rebuild Shreknet. Hmm. Can I tell from the book how old it seems? Looks like some of the most recent ink was freshly pressed. More visions from my past, I guess. Casper's going to pull out his phone and start taking pictures of all the pages. Okay. Just in case he loses the book, because he knows how that goes. I guess after I finish with with that, I'll... uh... So... Casper is stealing from Joe at this point in time. Yeah, trying to solve some mysteries. Okay. I'll make a note. And after he's done, he'll go join Kraken. And spying on Joe. Noted. I'm going to circle back up for the last scene of the evening with Jet and Belladonna. Bella, what what was it you needed to speak to me about privately? You said that Set showed you a future, right? Yes. In that future, did he say anything about me? No, he never mentioned your name. I saw futures with you there, but none that he even spoke of. While I was out, Someone, I don't know who, but someone talked to me and told me the set has a, or that there's a plan for me. Set needs a queen. A 
queen. Yes. And what? Does he think of you as his queen? I think that's kind of his plan. I don't know why, but... That's what I got told. Why is it these godlike beings work in mysterious ways? Why is it they can't just tell us what they're planning? How to stop the end? I don't know, but I do have a choice. But it's a choice that I'm scared to make. What choice? Whether or not to accept or not. If I don't, people will die. But if I do, I don't know the outcome of that. No matter which decision we make, someone always ends up dying, Bella. You should know this. It's not just as much as everyone else. The choice will be mine whenever I'm called, supposedly. And apparently I'm supposed to know when that is. Well, then I suppose when the call is made, you make your choice. I want you to know that no matter what choice you make, I will stand by your side. As I said at the club, till the end of time. Till the end of time, she repeats as she just goes in and hugs Jet. Sir, sorry to interrupt, but the Inquisition has been using this place as a Recon location for quite a while. Then I suppose it's time to move. Thank you, Doc. And that is where we'll pick up next week for the season finale of Ontario Nights Chapter 2. Next week is... Yeah. Next week is the gala. Ooh. Be dressed oh. for the occasion. Will do. I'll wear my nicest polo shirt. <laughs> it has to be gold. Just so you gold. we we have to get have Son here. Son is a major major part of the gala. We got to get Son here. I'll drag Omanatu to the gala. Yeah. <laughs> we miss our army mommy. Now I'm having now I'm the one having the fucking future visions. This is bullshit. I can't replace <laughs> Amanatu. <clears throat> yeah. Good session, guys. Oh, Good yeah. session. Yeah. Thank you everyone for being here. We're gonna raid someone. Yeah. We'll raid is a different question but let's find someone
All right, guys, we're going to start the raid on Superboy69. <laughs> Let's give him some love. Send him some shy love. Ready up. You get some extra points in chat once you raid. You can spend it on all your, your team points. All right, guys, we're heading out in three, two, one. Peace, peace. Bye. Bye. <coughs>